roar like a lion roar and a shack right just imagine the lion is in the shack right roar shack but it's named for a man who uh, actually made this technique this art technique famous and uh, his name was Rorschach and he used it for psychology to find out the way people think okay but we're going to use it to play a game with the way it was used for hundreds and hundreds of years before he made it famous. Uh, even Leonardo da Vinci used to use this and they'd use this as a creativity test to see how creative you could be. And also as a way to pass time when they had nothing, they didn't have computers, they didn't have cell phones, they didn't have video games, they didn't have TVs or movies or movie theaters. They didn't have a roller skating rinks or anything like that. They, they did have activities that they do, um, but they were kind of bored, you know, the, so they had to be very creative. And this was a way for them to, to tap into their creativity. So now I'm going to show you what the actual activity is. All right, we're going to need a piece of paper. Now it doesn't need to be a blank piece of paper. It could be a piece of paper from a newspaper or a magazine. Um, just make sure that it's not glossy. You know, that's the one thing that you can't have. When, when you're choosing your paper, you want it to be um, not glossy because it needs to take the paint, okay? Now, if you don't have paint, don't worry. Do you have ketchup? I got ketchup. Do you have uh, mayonnaise? All right, it's okay. All right, we're gonna use something that isn't super liquidy, that kind of looks like it could be paint, that has color. That's fine. All right, you're gonna get your piece of paper and I want you to fold it in half. It doesn't have to be a perfect fold. Don't worry about that. Just have fun. All right, fold it, unfold it. Boom, see, this one's not, not perfect and I'm not worried about perfect. What I do want is I want it to be mainly half and half, okay? I don't want it to be like a little bit folded over there, okay? It needs to be close to half. That's the only thing. All right, we're gonna take our paper and then what are we gonna do? We're gonna take a little dot, little dot, like this, bonk, all right? And we're gonna put it on our paper like that. Then we're gonna close it in half and move it around inside. Move it around, move it around, move it around. Open it up and you're gonna get an image. Look at that image. All right, if I used a little bit more, maybe I'd get more, but I don't want to use too much. Don't use too much because it's going to take forever to dry. And that will be boring, right? I mean, waiting for paint to dry, like watching paint dry, That now that's boring, all right? But what I do have is a really cool image. Look at that image. Now, here comes the game. We're going to make a story. And you can take turns telling stories with your friends. You could turn it around and make different stories. That way it kind of looks like lungs. And this way it kind of looks like, what does it look like? If you said it looks like wings, I agree. All right. But this is why psychologists use this because they want to know what you think, what's in your mind. When you see an image like this, what do you see? All right. And that helps them to find out how to help you. All right, because if you see some scary stuff, maybe you're scared. Maybe something bad happened that you don't want to talk about. But if you talk about how scary this picture is, it helps them to help you get to your problem. Or if you see something happy and funny, like maybe you see two people with a coned hat that are playing patty cake. All right, then they see, oh, this is a happy child. This is a happy person. And maybe they don't have a whole lot wrong with them. Maybe it's something else. Maybe I could just uh, change their diet a little bit and then they, they don't get moody, you know? Got to drink a lot of water, make sure that you, you get your nourishment every day and, um, you know, take vitamins if you can. Eat some vegetables and fruits. Anyways, so the next part is telling our story. So I'm going to start telling a story now. Once upon a time there was a caterpillar and the caterpillar was stepped on and everybody thought the caterpillar had died. But every day it crawled a little 
further and further toward this little blade of grass. It crawled up the grass and it spun a cocoon. And when it turned into a butterfly, the butterfly was red. It was a red butterfly. And all of his family was yellow, but he was red. And when he flew around looking for his family, his family didn't recognize him because he was red. But butterflies can talk to each other in a special language.